beat Goblin at, at Collision. Yeah. <laughs> he was also banned for a year because on um, Discord apparently he's saying gamer words. So it's stupid. Yeah. Like I saw that, I'm like, ah, oh, what are you guys are doing? Come on, you can't be doing that. Yeah. You know, making those edgy jokes. But whatever. You live and you learn, and you know, uh, hey, losing quarters, Doc Taker is not versus Cody. Yeah, we got my boy Stock Taker against Cody. Wolf, typical Wolf Peach. He might go Sephiroth in case if this Wolf loses. I have a doubt. Uh, I don't. He, I, we're in the same play, even when he's losing, he man, he's sick. Uh, it's Wolf stick out the character. Let's look out. I think he's going to stick out Wolf, probably. Uh, yeah. I feel like yeah. Wolf has better control than the matchup. But Sephiroth's range can also be. Sephiroth's range is great, yeah, but I think the fact that Peach is such a combo character and can rack up damage so good, like so goddamn fast, might make Wolf an overall better. Yeah, it's because he's a fast baller. Also, Sephiroth's Wolf is just better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just better. He's played so many different characters in this game, but the only person he's like consistently been playing over the years has been Wolf. You know, it is his light. I mean, Wolf is like the overall fundamental character that anybody can pick up. Yeah, I know. That's like that, that's the that's just the personal stock take of most guys. You know, he hops on and off of like Sephiroth, Palutena. Every now and again, we see like a Villager, a Wii Fit. I've seen Villager. I never seen his power. Uh, that was nice. Everybody's, every, every high level player has a nice palette. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And Cody's sticking to his friend and true Peach. Yeah, solo main. Okay. Well, he'll, he does play Roy even now. He plays other characters every now and then, but as for bracket purposes, he does play Peach. I have seen him play Roy in some brackets. Yeah, but fine. I've seen him play Toon Link in some brackets. When he's on the PR, man, he's on the Peach. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, let's see. And uh, you know, it's working out for Tim Stocky right now. Never mind. Either way, big percentage uh, lead. You know, one good like you know back air, forward air, could take a stock depending on where it is on the stage. Insane. Uh, forward air stock taker. Uh, catch the spot dodge. Nice. Insane. Good corner pressure right now. Catch the jump. Cody's gonna get out of this. Nice. That was, that was a nice call out. Yeah, I, I think like, might just be a reaction. Honestly. No, he did it before Peach rolled in. I'm surprised Cody really hasn't done his ledge pressure. He's in that, that would, that's really good against like a spacey. I thought it was fast. Toad comes out, nothing happens. Down smash, poking. Faces right through that turnip, did not matter. I mean, when you have a huge lead like Cody does, or some of a lead, throwing turnips, it doesn't really matter to you. I'll, uh, no, yeah. I mean like I mean the, the wolf flash phased right through the turn up. Like it did not matter though that the turn up oh, was there. It phased through a lot of projectiles for some weird reason. It, it just ignored it, yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't I don't even know if Wolf has a hitbox in those moments. It's weird. But hey, 168%. Nav told the ledge could do it. Hard nair. Yeah, but the one thing about trying to two-frame Peach, her up special does have a hitbox on the top, so it makes it harder to two-frame unless yeah. your hitbox is destroying enough to catch it. Yeah, it's not even just two-frame, it's a threat of the corner pressure. That's it. You know? That means so much. Good grab. Doctor off stage. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, boy. Damn. Can't get hit by another one of those. Or physically. Or, can't, can't or even, like, fair back air. Bear yeah. back air, like two of each kill option. Close. Uh, bear up air. Up air on the top. Back air. Play fair at the yeah, side. Oh Stock my Taker god. Steals that, that wolf back air. That move is disgusting. Dude, Jared's consistent with those fair, fair at the back airs. Yeah. I didn't even know if that was true, but he just, he just got there. I don't know. Peach was at a high enough percent where it didn't look true. And the fact that he, had, he laddered it up there. So I felt like Cody could have air dodged. He has gone for a big back air like that. So Cody might, it could have been like a mix-up option. Cody didn't expect it. You know, and that is a thing. There like, like a couple times uh, in the last match against Mojo. Uh, Mojo once caught him with, uh, you know, autopiloting a down air to get a hit stun. Could have been uh -oh, something similar there. We're, bring, we're bringing it to town. Wolf Woo! in town. Oh, my God. I don't know why Cody picked town and city. This is one of Wolf's best stages. A lot of characters are really good Are really good on town. Peach is another one of those guys. Peach really thrives on killing horizontally. That is true. You know, 
know, it's a large, it's a large stage two. Get plenty of chances, but man, oh no! Oh, Got no, way God. less chances so, now. That is unfortunate. But also, Wolf has plenty of space to also maneuver. Yeah. And also, like Jared has a lead, he doesn't really have to approach Cody half the times, but he will eventually just to. Uh, possibly go for the kill, not just to rank up small damage for a potential kill later on. But right now, Jared has a pretty big lead. Oh, yeah. Not, insur not insurmountable, but definitely difficult. Oh, there's a know. stitch phase. There's Cody's arch. Oh, he just yeah. chucked the turn and up. Again, Cody's up against the number one seed of this thing. You know? The one and only stock taker 69. You know? Wait, Perennial. Cody? Perennial force in Long Island, but was upset earlier by uh, Castilian. Yeah, I lost to that. Yeah, yeah, I lost it too. Uh, formerly known as Riley, great DDD main, up, uh, who from Long Island, but goes to school in Rochester upstate. Power rank there. Yeah, his, I, his DD is really good. And once you, and like Min Min DDD, in my personal opinion, it tends to be even. But at the same time, like, it's literally if Min, Min can keep DD out or if yeah, DD I mean, keeps Min, Min off stage, it's very yeah, difficult. It's hard. Uh, yeah, DD's plan, it, it works because it shouldn't. But, all right, good dash attack. Oh. Uh, late dash attack kills right off the side. There's little town city blast zones. Let's see, got a turn up combo coming up. Up, oh, stock there catches it, holding on to it, and shield. What's it gonna do with it? Just throw it away. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, oh. good mix up. Oh, he couldn't, he couldn't convert it. I, I don't know if there were many conversion options there. He wasn't in like, a place for full smash or anything. Full flash. Or, or at least try to get like a bait, an air dodge bait. Maybe. Either way. Yeah, but there, Jared can, like, Slack can take it. He can take this very slowly. Nice. Back on stage. Oh, oh. Phantom footstool. Nah, that was a real footstool. That was a real? Yeah, you can see Peach's head go like, you know, wasn't throwing out a hitbox or anything. Oh, no. Oh. This is pretty much even. Nice, back throw. Not gonna do it yet. Oh, Spike right, Ticket has to not do it Forces the combo. float out with the laser. No double jump, makes it back. Yeah. Nice. So I think it's one objective is to not get hit by any turn up combo, otherwise. He has a million that, objectives, man. He's had ooh, hit one. I mean, off the top. That could have been like an up tilt or something. Yeah. As, yeah. Uh, could have been up tilt. I don't want to have it. Yeah. The up tilt. <laughs> but damn.